Buying a house, it's not a small decision. And a major part of the home buying process is choosing a lender. There's a lot of money, as well as what could be a ton of hassles on the line if you choose wrong. So let's go over five great questions to ask a lender in order to make sure you have somebody competent that will get the job done and not rip you off. Because that can happen. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. Now I'm here with... Sammy Leopolis from Guaranteed Rate. I'm one of the top loan officers in the United States. Sammy, I think the first question a potential home buyer really should be asking is, what is the loan application process like and how long does it take to actually get approved for that loan? Yes, uh, I think that's a great question. The industry standard between banks and lenders is about 30 days, but this does vary from lender to lender. As an example, in most circumstances, we can have a buyer approved in just one day. In one day, really? So how's that even possible? Yes. Uh, well, most of the information we get electronically at the time of application. So barring any appraisal, we can offer an approval within hours of getting a complete application. I mean, that that's kind of crazy, right? So does that actually include the underwriting process as well? That is our underwriting process. And the reason why we could do it so quickly is that much of the underwriting happens by integrated software instead of just one traditional person. Yeah, because when I think of like the underwriting, I think of like a person there just like going through page by page application. Yeah. Anyway, all right, well, we went a little off the skids there, but I mean, that's just a little crazy and I, I felt like I needed to dig a little bit deeper on that one. The second question that I think a buyer should be asking is how will you communicate with me through that whole loan process and what steps will you take in order to keep me informed? Yeah, throughout the process, you'll be getting a status updates via email and via the company portal. You should also be getting consistent phone calls uh, explaining the next steps. Yeah, I 100% agree with you on the phone calls aspect. So many people, so many companies, they've stopped communicating with the phone. It just drives me up the wall. This is most likely the largest financial decision a person is going to make in their life. They deserve the handholding of speaking with an actual live human being in the United States on the phone talking to you and probably somebody in your backyard, probably not somebody who's like, I don't know, out in Minnesota somewhere, making like seven bucks an hour type thing. Yeah. Hey, you'd be amazed at how many uh, companies do. Yeah, and so the third question a buyer should be asking me is, how will you help me choose the right loan for my needs? And what factors should I really be considering as I am ultimately selecting that loan? Yeah, first and probably the most important is that the lender really needs to have a conversation with you. Dig deep and find out what your long-term and short-term goals are gonna be. So why is that so important? Well, it's going to help narrow down the type of loan product and in addition to the down payment. How, how so? How, how, how does that do that? Well, it's questions like, what if the house needs repair work? Um, do you really want to put down 20% or do you want to utilize some of that cash to do some of the up, updates? I mean, that makes sense because if you use some of that cash, then that's actually going to increase the value of your property. Right? Yeah. Another example is the potential to put down less money to utilize other investments or even an aspect of how long you plan on staying there. And uh, that's a good one, sorry, because you know that house is gonna appreciate yeah. the exact same. Whether you put down 20% or 3% or 5%, the house is literally gonna appreciate the exact same. Yeah, so an adjustable rate for a shorter term time period may make more sense, uh, especially if it's shorter ownership. So those are the things that you're gonna figure out by digging deep and asking those questions yep. in order to help kind of consult and advise a person on where to go. Does, does that have to sound about yeah. right? Okay, perfect. Awesome. Well, I mean, that all makes sense is there's a lot of different load options available and well, not all of them really make sense for everyone. There's no like just perfect fit for everyone, I right. guess. And I think the fourth question a buyer really should be asking is what is your lending experience? How long have you as a lender been doing this and how many loans do you originate a year? Yeah, this is a good one, except um, the how long part could be misleading. I got to expand that one a little bit for me. What do you mean? Well, experience doesn't come in years. It comes with the amount of loans you do. Exactly. And it is important because the industry is so is changing so rapidly. Uh, new products, new regulations are thrown at us almost on a daily basis. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how quickly and much your industry changed. Plus, I've actually heard that if you are a top lender in the country, right, then you could be actually eligible to provide more favorable rates. Is that true? Yeah, it's 100% accurate. Uh, it was a great example. I'm one of the top 10 loan offices of Guaranteed Rate, which is the second largest lender in the country. Uh, I oftentimes give different incentives, which can help me offer clients lower interest rates. One of the top 10 one off. I set that off there. No. Okay. And the fifth question I think a potential home buyer should be asking is what sets you apart from other lenders and why should I choose to work with you? Right? I mean, I think that's a good question. That is a great question because at the end of the day, you want an experienced and competent loan officer. You want somebody who has been doing this for a long enough time and is a top producer because it is a complicated process. And then if done incorrectly, could cost you not only your dream home, 
for a lot of money. It could also save you a lot of hassles and headaches throughout the loan process. This question just helps you gain some good insight on the loan officer that you're interviewing and how professional they will, they will be throughout your entire process and journey. And that really, it, it does matter. I can remember when one of our clients, uh, it was Klang actually, mm -hmm. I remember her saying how easy the process was and how when she talked to all of her friends who had bought houses, they mentioned how miserable the financing process was. And what was crazy is that she actually said that the financing process was one of the easiest parts when she worked with you. So uh, I feel like just nine out of 10 times if a buyer has had a miserable process in the home buying experience, and it's oftentimes mortgage related. All yeah, like absolutely. Yeah. Well, Sammy, I, I think we did it. But, you know, those are the top five questions that I would say you should be asking a loan officer when you're trying to qualify them and ultimately see if they're going to do a confident and good job for you. And if you're thinking about buying a home, then, well, Sammy can help you, actually. He works with the number two lender in the country and is one of their top 10 mortgage bankers. And if you're actually thinking about making a move, then be sure to reach out to this guy. He's one of the top real estate agents in the state and will take great care of you. All of our contact information, it's in the description below, but you can also reach out to us at youtuberealestateagent.com. Just fill out a couple questions like your name, basically, and then we'll reach out to you. So until next time.